You're probably going to think some questions are stupid, but that's okay. That's all right. How's it going, guys? My name is Dom, and today we've got Mary back because last time you guys seemed to have enjoyed her presence. So obviously she's going to be back, and today I'm going to be doing an HTML, CSS, and JavaScript quiz. So Mary has chosen 20 questions before today's video, and she was absolutely ecstatic. <laughs> she was excited to get those questions, and uh, quite frankly, she absolutely loved... <laughs> to doing that <laughs> she's prepared like i said 20 questions and of course i'm going to be answering them and because we don't condone violence on decode okay the reward no. for get <laughs> the reward for getting more than 15 questions right on my part is going to be a cookies and cream milkshake Ooh. and if i don't get 15 answers right then mary gets a caramel milkshake Right? So hopefully as well, at the end, we can even make those milkshakes. But a couple yes. of quick things before we start. If you want to subscribe to Mary, you can do so. I believe she's uploading a few videos sometime soon. And also, if you haven't uh, joined the Decode Discord, then you can join my Discord below in the description. So um, there you go. Let's uh, let's get started. Righto. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready, yeah. What HTML tag defines a table row? Table row. This one's going to be super easy for me, eh? Is it? TR. Oh, TR. you got it. Yep. What HTML tag do you use to specify the URL of a page for a link? Right, so are these all just going to be which HTML tag is this? The right. first two are tags. Why are you going to push them, mate? I just don't what I found, okay? Alright. Um, what was the question? What HTML tag do yep. you use to specify the URL of a page for a link? href. Yeah. Href. Good job. What CSS property defines the font to be used for, a hate, for an HTML element? What? Font family. Yeah. What tag is Easy. used to embed an image in the HTML page? To what? Embed. Embed. Oh, that one. Yeah, embed. <laughs> Where did you get these questions from, mate? <laughs> IMG. It's IMG. Yeah, that one. Yep. That's already, what's that, four? Is it three? Four. four. I can taste the milkshake already, eh? Shut up. <laughs> Which HTML formatting element is used Pre. for important text? Okay. Don't He's about freaking it. wrong. He no, jumped no. the gun. <laughs> oh, no, you lost a mate. point, mate. <laughs> if an image cannot be displayed on a web page due to slow connection or some other reason, yep. what attribute is used? ALT. <laughs> The question <laughs> which html formatting element is used for subscript text subscript text i wonder what <laughs> i wonder which one it might be for subscript yeah, text i don't know sub oh what css border style is used for dashed border <laughs> what dashed yeah they're, yeah, all, they're all the answer of like the tag then why'd you pick that question so am i currently on seven or something what am i on Mm. Right. Are there going to be any JavaScript questions in this one? Mm. What are the five different position values in CSS layout? Five different position values. This is mm. actually a good one, eh? Top, right, bottom, left. Wrong. What do you mean wrong? <laughs> wrong. Okay. What I do you mean? Top, I'm, right, bottom, left. I'm, that's not what was on the okay, page. Okay, fine. Oh, that, okay, now hold on. Let me try again. Absolute Bad fixed. Fun. Absolute fixed relative. Is that what you want? Yeah, there's two more. Inherits? No. Uh, sticky? Yes, and? Oh, uh, mmm. Uh, what's it called, man? <laughs> uh, that's a C, doesn't it? No. What? Nah. <laughs> what no, it? it's static. Static, yeah, okay, alright. Yeah, okay. Oh. I should have known that one, eh? What does the hidden value do in an CSS overflow? Uh, it hides overflow content. Yeah. In an yeah. element. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> easy. Easy. What is the major difference that display inline block allows, whereas display inline does not? Ooh, that's a great question. That's actually a really sick question. So inline versus inline block. Oh. Mm. Um, yeah. You can center typically block-based elements. The um, answer right. <laughs> was to allows, allows to set a width and height on the element. 
Width and height. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. That's that, that makes sense. That yeah, I do understand that. That is, that is true. Yeah. Right. How many have you got? You probably did not win. I think I'm pretty sure. <laughs> no, 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 I got this. Uh, I, got I think. This, didn't yeah. you get like three wrong? Um. I think you got three wrong. So yeah, three wrong. Already yeah. at like what seventeen? Yeah, it's fine. Mm. I've got two more chances left, eh? Think about that. Yeah. <laughs> the opacity property. In opacity. opacity. No, <laughs> it doesn't matter, does it? Is that opacity? Is that wrong? Oh. I'm pretty sure it's opacity, but that's alright. Pa- <laughs> oh my gosh. In CSS, can take a value from what to what? From invisible to visible? Give me a number. Zero to a hundred. Oh no, hold on. Zero point... Uh, zero to one. Yeah. Zero to one. Yeah. Yeah. Good job. Easy. Where is a CSS comment placed? A CSS comment is placed inside the style tag. Uh, yep. Yeah. Right. Righto, moving on to the next question. <laughs> what are the two types of values in the JavaScript syntax? Two types of values. Two types of values in the JavaScript syntax. I don't know, like... I don't know what you mean. Oh. Uh, What's the answer? Fixed and variable. Fixed and variable? What? Yeah. That's, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, that's cool. One point lost, unfortunately. Okay. That's all right. What are JavaScript strings used for? Storing characters of text. Name a type of JavaScript date input format. ISO? Yeah. Good job. Okay. What... <laughs> <laughs> okay. What does a catch statement let you do for errors in JavaScript? It lets you catch the errors and handle them. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. What are some date types that JavaScript variables can hold? Date types that JavaScript variables can hold? I don't know. <laughs> what do you mean? What is it? What's the question? What are some date types that, date types that JavaScript variables can hold? What do you mean? Like string and date? Yeah. Okay. Numbers, objects. Yeah, they're right. Yeah. All right, whatever. <laughs> Name some HTML events. Name some. What do you mean? Names. Okay. That's it. I don't know. Load. Um. Click. Yeah. Uh. Is that it? Just two. Yeah. That's, oh. Yeah. Sure. That's cool. fine. What are date objects created within JavaScript? What do you mean? How are they created? New date. Yeah. That's it. That's it. All done. Okay. Hold on. So, are we going to agree they got sixteen? I got most of them right. So we're going to do a milkshake. Yeah. Look, we're making a milkshake cooker. Cookies and <laughs> <laughs> cookies and cream milkshake. Am I going to drink it? Share it? Am I going to drink oh. it? Probably not. Probably not. I'm actually quite full. No, you know what? I oh, know. I'll, I'll, I'll drink, drink it. it. Yeah, we'll drink it. I'll we'll drink you. it. I'll help you. That's a bit weird. All right. Um, yeah. Oh, now we have God. to film the milkshake. Well uh, done. Most likely, I won. You did uh, pretty good. Though. I would have got, I think, sixteen, but we'll see in the text on the actual video. We'll see. Mm. But let's assume Dom won, and I got four wrong. So we're going to make a cookies and cream milkshake. Should be all right. Obviously, Yum. you know, I like my milkshakes. Um, so that's it, really. Let's go and make it. We've got the blender, cookies, ice cream, and the milk, mate. So, obviously, first step, put that in there. Right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> obviously, chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry is uh, a favorite of mine. Right. Let's put that in there. And there we go. That is the end <laughs> of the quiz. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, once again, make sure to join my Discord if you want. And also sub to Mary because she's going to be uploading a few videos sometime soon. And of yeah. course, you know, that's only if you like her, obviously. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.